Hey, two weeks ago I told you that in a week I would hopefully have it flying when I got the new propellers. Well, I got the new propellers and it's not flying. Uh, um, it, it was pretty close to flying. Uh, I think the program just needs a little, little tiny bit of adjustment. But, uh, <laughs> I ran into some other problems. The Arduino ended up overheating and burning itself out, so I had to buy another Arduino. And now the Serial RF module, the PC220, whatever, uh, is messed up. I'll go ahead and I'll try to explain how all that happened. So first of all, the old Arduino, uh, as you remember, it was connected to that Xbox controller with 5 volts 5 volts and ground just connected to the power and ground on the other thing and I don't know if I had it connected to the real had it connected the correct way to the power and ground or not but um then I had it connected to all the analog inputs and maybe what happened was there was like a a diode or something and I had it the other way but essentially what I believe happened was I was trying to pull too much current through here or sink too much current through here and it ended up overheating and so the chip got messed up and also this other chip I believe is messed up too the serial to USB converter I believe that because the it's not even recognized on the computer as a com port or whatever the Linux version of that is TTAMC whatever blah blah um so I went ahead and shelled out 35 bucks for a new one hmm. and I went ahead and connected it all up and it didn't work essentially what happened was well I couldn't figure out what it was so I went ahead and I took a multimeter and crossed the leads there and it just was not going how you would expect it to go, you know, zero or a hundred, a hundred ohms to 10 K ohms just wasn't doing that. And so I went ahead and took it to my electronics class and, um, well, I, actually first I took off some stuff on here and thinking that it might be messing it up. And I took it to my electronics class and my teacher told me just take everything off and he gave me some perf board, some old used perf board. And so I spent the class setting that up while he was teaching all the other kids about <laughs> Holmes Law. Um, <clears throat> so um, then that seemed to work pretty well. But before I even tested it out, well, I, I tested it out with the, you know, just the serial uh, monitor and whatnot. And it seemed to be working. But before I tested it out with the quadcopter, I decided that I wanted to try um, bit banging or whatever it's called when you try to manually send stuff over serial and well I as you see here there's the VCC and ground um, it takes three three volts to five volt the 3.3 volts to five volts and I thought oh well this 12 volt lipo battery the cells are 3.7 volts to 4.2 volts so it'll be perfect well as you see here, if you try to plug it in with just these two, the VCC and the ground are reversed. So I, I thought, oh, I'll just put it this way to power it up. Well, as you can see there, the RXD goes to the red and the ground goes to the black. So there's 12 volts across there. The instant that I touched it to it, it snapped. Right, I heard a little tiny snap and I knew that it was ruined and I, I went ahead and tested a little bit and I realized yes it is ruined which means that I had to shell out another 30 bucks to buy another one online which will arrive in a week so that's the story um that's that's the story that of <laughs> my troubles <laughs> Hopefully I'll get it flying once I get the new module. Um, I had to buy two of them because you can only buy them in pairs. But uh, I, I sure hope I'll eventually get this thing figured out. Um, 
hopefully in a week I'll have another update video where I can tell you that it actually flies. Of course, I've been saying that for a few videos. Hopefully it'll be real this time.